Yeah. Because, you know, he grew up in a milk bath and then he grew up on the island. So he's never really dealt with human beings that way outside of Wally. And so a lot of the things that, you know, a lot of the ways that we try to communicate, he doesn't understand when I'm joking with him or when I'm being a smart ass or when I'm serious or, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of that kind of funny humor in the dynamic. And her whole thing is is sarcasm and being a wise ass and, yeah. you know, and, and, and throwing zingers around. So. I sort of have to learn, you know what I mean? That's it's my job as the as the baby chick to sort of evolve. But we try to help each other out. But yeah. it makes for some really fun comedic moments because we're in a, doing a very serious thing. We're trying to stop murders from happening, right. and she'll like say something sarcastically, and I will just go do what she asked me to do. <laughs> you know, she'll say, "What do you want to just go tell them who you are?" And I'm like, "No," you know. And it's 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 funny. It's it's a uh, it's it's fun. It's fun to do. So, Sark, I think you were originally playing identical twins in this, and then uh, I think Nick Sano was cast as your fraternal twin. When was that decision made, and why? It was made, you know, we shot the pilot, and uh, it was pretty clear in the process of making it that when you have eight days to shoot a TV show, and, uh, and you're trying to play two characters, there wasn't enough time. It just wasn't physically possible, and, and the truth is, this is a way better solution anyway, because we can explore the characters more. We don't have to shoot every single twin scene twice. I don't have to run and go change my hair and my makeup and my contacts. We have a wonderful actor who's going to step in and, and be an amazing part of the show. So, it, you know, a lot of times you'll see pilots, uh, the original pilot, the way it's written, it doesn't end up the way that it's written. You have these ambitions and you think this is a great way to do it and you realize uh, along the way that there are better ways. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, I'm really happy we made the decision to do this. One really last quick question. We're asking everyone at Comic-Con, what is your geek blind spot? And by that, I mean a huge TV show or a huge movie franchise that everyone's always talking about that you've never seen. Okay, I have one. Really? Better. That's good. I know. I know. That's bad. Um, it's not a total blind spot, but I'm a I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan of the books. My la my first name is Stark. You know, when I heard about the, the HBO show and I heard that the main main family was called Stark, I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch the show. And then I found out there were books, so I read all of the books. And I'm waiting for my wife to get into the show because I want to watch it, but she's not into this stuff. So uh, that's my blind spot is everyone talks about the, what's happening on the show and I haven't seen it because I'm trying to get her into it. She's like seen the first episode and she's like, well, there's no strong female characters. And I'm like, you're insane. Just stick with it, please, because there are no, there's no show with better f uh, female characters. Anyway, that's mine. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitBix on Twitter or visit HitBix.com.